Hey guys, it's Jerry Clear Dragon from RDA. We got another accuracy test today. This one is of the AK Masada. As you see, I have put a scope on it for the accuracy test. And to also show you got a long rail, but whatever optics you wish on this. Uh, the scope is on here for the accuracy test purpose. It does not come with the scope. Uh, I just felt like putting it on for this video and using it. I got a magazine. I'm not going to be using the P mag. I'm going to be using a standard M4 mag just to show that it uses. It can use your standard M4 mag without a problem. And working bolt catch. If you want to buy this gun, there's a link down below to RDA's website. There's also a link down below to RDA's form where you can talk to the community, including me. So let's see how accurate this gun is. All right, first we're 50 feet away. The four inch wide headshot target. Semi-automatic. Oh, I'm also using 0.28 gram BBs because this gun shoots at 400 feet per second. I forgot to mention that. Uh, well, let's go semi-auto. All right, 50 feet. Gonna be really easy target to hit. All right, now we are 100 feet away. First semi-automatic on the man, shot man size target, and then we'll go for water. Auto. And that's starting pretty easy to hit. Let's go to the headshot target right next to it. Let's go full auto. All right, 100 feet away, pretty easy target. All right, now we are at 150 feet away. This is the furthest range I got. Uh, something else worth mentioning, uh, the 9.6 I currently have on the gun is almost dead. So the rate of fire is really sluggish right now. Uh, that has nothing to do with the gun, it's just that my 9.6 is practically has no charge. Uh, but hey, it doesn't matter too much for accuracy. Let's go semi-automatic, man-sized target. Full auto. Still, yet to miss. Let's go to that tiny man sized target, right, or headshot target right next to it. Semi auto. Alright, so semi-automatic seems to be a pretty easy target to hit. A man size target 150 feet away. Take it to full auto though, it starts to spray a little bit. And I don't think you're going to be getting any full auto headshots past 150 feet. But, if you take your time and aim on semi-automatic from 150 feet away, you're not missing. Overall, it seems to be a pretty accurate gun. Alright, now we're just going to be shooting down range. There's the gun, first semi-automatic. <laughs> and even just kind of shooting around without looking, still hitting the target. It's pretty cool. Let's go full auto. And we are out of BBs. Alright, so accuracy wise, I'm pretty impressed. It shoots very straight. The hop unit they have in, it might look a little bit odd being clear, but overall it's pretty good quality and it's very effective. The gun itself can hit targets at 150 feet away no problem. I wish I had a little bit more space than 150 feet. It seems that I can't test, fully test out a lot of the guns as I would have liked. Uh, but I'd probably guess about 200 feet would be the max range for this. 150, it seems to be that point where it starts to get a little less accurate. But 150, you're still practically dr drilling the targets, especially on semi-automatic. So as a whole, this gun is pretty, pretty accurate.
So if you want to buy this gun, there's a link down below to RDA's website. There's also a link down below to RDA's forum where you can talk to the community and me. And once again, I'd like to remind everyone, the 9.6 I'm using in this foregrip is almost dead. So this gun is usually going to be shooting at a much higher rate of fire than this, and usually is not going to sound so bad. So that has been RDA's accuracy test of the ANK Masada.